So one of the first things you've got to do is lay out your wiring harness. Lay it out so that you can kind of get the idea of how it lays in the vehicle. So over here we've got your fuse box. Here we've got our three primary computer plugs. Then you can see it goes across and over the hood. And then here it's going to your fuel injectors and your engine controls. All right, and then the main part of the harness that you want to look at, here's the grommet where it goes through the firewall up into the engine compartment. And then right here, this is the magic end that you got to look for. So this plug right here is over here by the brakes, is this plug right here. And then out of here, of course I don't have the cruise, so I've only got two pigtails coming out before that plug. And then right down here, here's the grommet. Then here you can see it's going up over the hood. Right here are your fuel injector lines. One's the long straight one and one's the curved one here. You can see it curves around right there. Then there's your big plugs. Then it goes around over here to the primary computer. And this is where those three plug in. So once you've got your cracking of a wiring harness all laid out and you've got it figured out and you kind of have an idea of where she lays of course now you've got all the little ends and caps and extra parts that you'll ever need for anything that ever might go wrong but here's where surgery starts so the end that we're looking for here's the two that i have right here these two are the two that i do have this is the one that's the cruise control right there those four pegs so now i'm going to start taking this apart to work my way through to create just the cruise control overlay what i'm going to do is i'm going to start taking apart tapes and tapes i'm going to get myself into here so i can follow these wires so here's my first fa major opening where I've taken and I've followed this cord to this first separation to separate it away. I'm just going to keep working my way up this harness. I'm going to work my way to here for starts. Needless to say, this pile of tape will slowly get bigger and bigger. So these are the four wires that are the primary wires to the servo plug. Now this is the initial conundrum you come into. As you can see, you're gonna cross the rest of the wiring harness through multiple points. The dark blue, or the blue with red goes into the cab. And then the, the other three carry on across the harness right here. They come through at different points where, unfortunately, there's no way to pull that plug through by itself. And so you come to a decision. Am I going to unravel it all the way to follow these wires through as I've started here? I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this junction point up here and see that these wires, if they just continue on through, which I'm sure they do, right on through to the primary plug over yonder. So, then it's probably going to be sending back wires that'll go back down into here that are related to the cruise control. So with that said, I have to decide where to create a break in these wires so that I can continue pulling them out. I think what I'm going to do is since this is the close end over here what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the four wires and then I will connect them to a trailer wire harness so that I have a male and a female end that I can reconnect 
and we'll review that later. But I think that this point right here, close to the harness, is where I'm gonna make my break in these four wires. What I'm doing is I'm jumping ahead here to, as far as I've got it unraveled, I'm taking the end that I cut, and I'm matching it up to the wire in the bundle. Right there. And then pulling it through the tangle. Not the tangle, but just where it's crossed. It's not necessarily a tangle. So I'm gonna continue on with that till I reach the plug end. Now this black wire, of course, black is usually a ground, right away comes to a major junction where it goes from a single going up to the cruise to now a junction of three. Heavy and two thins. <clears throat> so now I've unraveled to the first junction, which is this frame ground and sure enough <clears throat> quite simply this black ground is spliced into this frame ground and of course that ground continues on times two through the harness so at this point I know that that black from my plug over there is a just a ground and so I will stop tracing this black at this point now as I'm going for wire maintenance sake so that I'm not turning it into a massive nest, I'm just periodically retying the harness together with tape. So as I suspected, my two wires that we're following bypass this junction, go right on through. So there's no need to tear it apart any more than that. So now we've reached close to the end of stage one of wire harness deconstruction for cruise control. I've pulled my two wires that I've followed all the way across and at this point, Knowing from the instructions, from the PDF, these two should be going right up in here into this plug. Knowing which pins it is from the PDF, we will then be able to determine which wires are critical from here back through to continue the wire harness construction deconstruction. Now, in order to get the back side of these pins, you've got to push these four clips out carefully as you pry it apart. And once you get it, oh, it's a great feeling because now you have your access to the back pins. The front is all numbered. It's upside down. So there's our numbers. And sure enough, here are our two wires. And we will follow them which pins they go, which will determine their um, application. And so, our two wires that are important to us are the one, two, three, fourth and fifth wire in, fourth and fifth pull in, which are numbers upside down. So top side, fourth and fifth from this side, one, two, three, fourth and fifth. So So there you have it, number four and five. So we've determined that these are what these wires are and which pins they go into. You've done it right. This is what you should have. You should have 29, speed control receive. 11, speed control power supply. 32, speed control signal switch. 27, speed control transmit. Number four, vacuum solenoid control.
and number five speed control vent solenoid control now with the utmost extreme caution you're going to open this slightly to release the pressure on the pins and once you do you will ever so gently finding the wires that you need pull them out and you'll get them hard to do with one hand with the pins we'll replace the back cap hard with one hand and now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some periodic wiring to hold it together I'll replace all the sheathing here I've come across an interesting conundrum our pink wire which is Number 27, speed control transmit splices here and goes back through our harness. So now we have to go back here to find out where it goes and following it along here inside of our fuse box on the back side we find solid pink again where is it going we find out that it goes to this pin of the EA TX relay so we just have to make sure that we have and we splice into the pink solid of the EA TX relay and so with that said what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this pink, solid pink, solid pink, intact at this junction and I'm going to cut it here. Right, so now we've got our wires here that we have to follow. We have to make sure to know where the solid pink goes. No, that's not my solid pink. That's another pink. Get out of here, you... So these are my wires here that I have to be sure to follow. The blue that goes out to the plug. The yellow and red. The green and white. The solid pink. And then of course, black we know is ground because it was ground to the frame ground right here. At this point, you come to the grommet. <clears throat> what I went ahead and did was I did surgery on it. And I took apart the internal protective padding so that I could still maintain the integrity of the vehicle grommet. I'll be pulling the wires through now to the inside of the Jeep. So now that I've pulled the wires out, for all intents and purposes, here is our cruise control wiring harness on. Oh, let me grab my piece that's over here. <clears throat> the plug to the servo. So, we know where all our wires go. We have them all labeled. We have the ones with pins. We have all the pins. And then we have the deconstructed, which we will reconstruct wiring harness, less cruise control. And we now know which pins we need to remove from the two internal plugs to add them to the inside of the Jeep. That'll be tomorrow. Of course, like I said, that's a big old pile of black tape that all got removed from our deconstructed wire harness. All right, so now we're at the point of pulling the wires with their pins out of the two internal wire harness connectors. Now to pull the pins, from this one and the wires that we're pulling are <clears throat> this green and then we just have to notate where this pink is because this wire harness still requires this pink so I'm not going to pull the pink out of it I just need to make sure I know where it is so we've got one, two, three in a row, second level down. 
one, two, three in a row, second level down. It's the outer two, it's that one and that one that we're going to be pulling. And of course you need the Mopar pin pulling tool for those. In this one, we have these two wires. So the top two outside, not top two, I'm sorry. The outer top two we need. So that's this one and this one. And the way those come out is you have to remove these blue snap back connectors and these will pop right out. Then of course we have to remember our blue what the heck focus our blue and red uh, solenoid uh, speed control power supply um, wire we need to figure out which one it is and on my pin it is one two third level down one two third pin in which makes it one, two, three, one, two, three, that one right there. So once you get this blue uh, pin holder out, let's get it all the way out here. And so on these, the way these work is these hold up the little locking tabs hold them up hold them down and if you get yourself a paper clip for these then you just come in underneath the pin come on focus and you release that locking tab and that pin will pop right out did I get the right one I'm sure I did. I did. So there. Now I've got those two out with their ends. So they'll go right in my Jeep. Now we can replace that locking blue peg. Uh, retaining clip. And of course let's remember that that was yellow, upper, red, lower of the two outside and then again we're going to the blue which is third level down third one in we're going to pop that one all right so our final part is pulling the pin for the green wire which i already pulled but i'm going to show you how it's done i'm not going to pull the pink one as we've discussed but what you have to do is you got to get your tool you know, I've seen some people go and get an industrial size staple and use that. But I wanted to go ahead. I'm a tool guy. I like to have all the different tools. So I went and I got the tool. And here's the tool that you need. Right there. What you're going to do is you come in here and you can see the little tab. I'm going to show you. So you come into the one that you want to pull, you're going to reach in there with the tool, and you're going to lift up that tab right there, and then from the other side, you'll be pulling the wire at the same time. It goes something like this. There, and then that'll pop right out once you unlock that little tab in there and that's how you get those out you just got to release that tab and you need the tool like I said some people show using a uh, industrial strength staple I attempted the staple trick and my staples just keep bending so I got the tool and of course now I've got every tool for removing every pin ever there you go and so there you have it 
This is technically a wiring harness for a Jeep Wrangler, mine's a 2004, with all pins, the plug, and we'll call this the end of part one. Part two will be the installation of all the parts into the Jeep.